How do you how come you got the shopping cart off the lot? I usually ask. You ask them? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Usually or you did this time? I didn't. Okay. Did I need to see your ID. Okay. I didn't just it. I always okay. bring it back. Okay, well the thing is the chief doesn't want them off the lots. Oh, I didn't Okay, and it's that. a and it's a state statute you can't have them off the lots, okay? I didn't know that. Recently, I asked. I, recently, I bring my own grocery card, and I forgot it. I wasn't planning on going to buy it. Okay. A little bit extra. I'm Where do you have a gro grocery cart from? What do you mean your own one? I one of those little uh, foldable baskets. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now, yeah. You can't take these off the lot. These are brand new with Win Dixie too. Uh, I, I'm so sorry, and I, you know, recently I always ask, and I did forget this time. Okay, sit tight. I'll probably end up writing you a notice up here for it. Yeah, or pay a, they might give you a fine, I don't know, but, okay. all right. Okay, tough work. Because Missouri is specific, they want the type of vehicle in the year. Uh, with 95, I'm getting negative, no record count. Yeah, man. I might need to sign off a little while, but... All right, all right, cool. Twelve Charlie, fifteen to Central. Twelve Charlie, fifteen, stay on. Twelve X Radio and Network. Copy, thank you. Copy of Florida DL by number. Charlie 654-544-748670. Be a white female. Can I also get a criminal history on her? Yeah, I could probably just wheel it back myself while I'm done. I appreciate it, though. 
All right, I appreciate it. Back to Charlie, 15. 15, go ahead. Cornell. Copy, thank you. Alpha 17 Central, can you copy two out of Florida, name date of birth? Yeah. Last name is Hutchinson, Hotel Uniform Tango, Charlie Hotel, India November, Tierra, Oscar November, first name is Sarah, Sierra Alpha Romeo Alpha Hotel, middle initial is H Hotel, date of birth is 61085, white female so far. November, November, Echo Tango Hotel. First name, or I'm sorry, middle is Papa. Date of birth is 824 of 82 White Mountain. Copy, thank you. 
have it. Both Hutchinson subjects are negative on one thousand. Eye color, ma'am. What's your eye color? Blue. Blue. Phone number? What? Phone number? 386-212-1408. 212 what? 1408. Place of birth? Daytona Beach. Um, workplace? I don't work. You don't work? Unemployed? I'm on social security. Alright. Um, tattoos? None? Yeah, I think that's everything. Alright, sit tight. Special back to 12 x 31 Good. Last time, the new orbit comes back to a 2014 10 momentum fifth wheel trailer. It's negative on wants advising. The title is returned. I got you. Thank you. Last name Perry, P E R R Y. He's going to be senior. First name Larry. Middle is D Delta. Black male, date birth 10 to 70.
Manchester are focused on growth, and so they're definitely growth, and they're, they're two dynamically different organizations that their similarities can be a membership as you move forward. And the media is a little different, but it's their passion.
saying this, but if you hadn't been trapped in the FLW genre, uh, I think one of the best singers in his heyday ever, ever has been able to uh, I mean, I think Prince would probably, in my honest opinion, have a lot of respect for me. Um, I, I'll tell you, I, I didn't really know who Randall Thorpe was because FLW wasn't a deal.
from the engine company. That's key switch, harness, ignition, propeller, gauges, that type of stuff. And then I looked at the depth finders that were on a particular package and a trolling motor. Okay, so this is just the hard goods that we bolt on. And they comprise 53% of the cost of the material product of the boat. Wow. So now I've got to build a boat trailer from raw goods on a hand intense labor market. And I've got to weld up a trailer frame and put tires and wheels and axles. And I've got to turn around and build a boat out of resin and junk oak. And we try to use the best products. Of course, Mark, I know you and Matt know that. Um, and we use the best product we can buy, so I'm not compromising. And I got 47, 48, 49 percent left to do that with on those small boats. So that drives the market where we have to try to get the percentage of the options to be a smaller percentage of the cost of the bomb or the bill of materials. And when that happens, it, it drives you to bigger boats. So, you know, no doubt you're driving 19, 20, 21, 22 boats. And, you know, we've got everything from a 17-7, even a 17-foot tiller if you want it with a 25 horse, all the way up to a, a Jaguar with a 450 that's a $160,000 product. Wow. So you, you can go from one end to the other. And so in answering your question, and, and Mark knows that I can be a little long-winded, um, it's hard to explain that to people, but what's caused the drive of the price of bass boats is primarily on the smaller section, the percentage of the equipment cost. And there's probably a little bit of error in there. And I remember Charlie's trying at Evanroot, and Charlie came into the business, and when Charlie's later years, he kept saying, we need to build more efficient, cheap boats. We need to get into the bottom end of the economy. And Charlie drove that in our throats until the day Charlie passed away. And Charlie's a good guy. Boy, well, Charlie and I have crossed up a couple times on He didn't understand how the percentage of cost of the engine directly affected it. And I know it costs money, but engines are built on an assembly line. They're pretty mass-produced, as mass-produced as they can be for that number. And the number's not like an automotive. Um, but definitely at a, at a better assembly line than any of the boat companies can compete with, any of the boat companies. And so uh, when you look at that, that, that engine cost, winds up being a, an exponential cost of the product on the cost of the bills of materials. Hey, Rick, it's Bradley here. I had a question you touched on right off the bat that kind of got my interest. You were talking about the high school kids and the college kids and all of us in the industry have been working on that for the last 10, 15 years. You were in this long before that was really an issue, and I grew up in the time when there was no high school or college. I'm wondering if you're seeing that impact now on the backside of that's been going. Are you seeing those high school, college kids as they've grown up? Are you seeing them as a customer? Not yet. The truth is, is I'm, 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 and Brad, you kind of know this. I'm kind of transparent. I told, I told Mark this morning. I'm pretty translucent. You know, you, you, I just say what it is. Um, we're not seeing the huge growth in the college high school sales on young men coming out. The most exciting thing about college, and, and this is where they're not there yet, Brad, is these kids, like you look at Miles Berghoff, and we got Martin Courtney here, came out of Texas Tech, and he's an engineer here. And you look at Dustin Elders working at Brad Co. Uh, you, you look at um, Brad Rutherford just working for Pure Fishing, and you look at these kids that are coming out of college, and they're starting their careers in this business, and that's the exciting part. Now, Brad's got a nice boat. He, he's got a little boat with a 115 on it, and he's started a family, and life's good. But they're not really what I would call getting into the customer base yet of buying new boats because they're still young professionals. So the exciting part of that is they are coming into the business, into the sport, and they're growing our sport in other ways. And, and we've got young men and young women that are coming out. You know, here local, we've got a young gal senior in high school named... Um, Courtney Barron, and she's a solid, and she's wanting to go into college and fish college, and you look at the things Bill Cimatel's doing, and definitely through the Big Bass Junior World Championship that we sponsor, there's so many things that are going on for college and high school, and they're all good, um, but not yet are we really seeing that impact in boat sales, what I would say that people expect, and that's because when you were 30 years old, you may have grown up in this, I know you did. But the, the enthusiasm of it, you know, you were around guys who wish they had a boat when you had one, Brad. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I just know working at boat shows through the years, you know, to get the age of the guy that buys the boats, we're generally between 
35, kind of at the young end. I would say they were generally in their 40s. Here's your ID. 60 years old. Those were the I'm so sorry. Numbers. Okay. I always I ask. All right. This is just, you can't take it off the property even if they tell you you can. It's a, it's a state okay. statute. Okay. okay. So use your other cart you have. All right. I know. Sometimes I just overbuy and I have to leave my other cart there. Yeah. I am so sorry. You know, I'm so freaking embarrassed. The chief is big on these things being left. There. People leave them around. So it's a... Originally, what I do is I bring it home, put away my stuff, and then I bring it right back. And actually, I go and take it into the store. That way, they see me bring it back. Okay. I'm so sorry. Just sign there for me. And then, who's this guy? That's my sister. Okay. Impact you don't need to take the bent off, it'll go. Okay, so sorry. We're not seeing it necessarily directly from what you said. That's what I want to be clear on. Sorry, I can't it's see how I'm doing. Yeah, it's all right. Nobody can. Kids high school kids buying product. They don't have the credit, the backbone, the house, okay. the car. All right, head over there, and I'll print you up a copy in a second here. All right? Okay. All right, just stand by your, the cart. You know. Okay. And you can probably get your stuff out. Young men and women, and they're smart, so they're not going to go be... Hang on, hang on. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go push this thing back. Just flowing that cash out there because I've got a new job and I'm, I'm, I'm there. So it's going to take them a while to build the resources, build their financial. All right. Did you see uh, Schnipp's call? Uh-uh, what did he get? We are One of the uh, high have an impact. cats that we got, the Walmart thing. Oh, yeah? Their attorneys calling and I've talked about him. this one time. Oh, gosh. I'll never so. forget. I told Ben about it, I was like, days, there were Ben's like, I don't tell the attorney he told me. Lewis folks to dispatch. So I messaged Stan, he was like, on the off on they, they moonlighted yeah. right north of the river freeway. And as they retired from the same road. You can walk with those on your arm. Yeah, they didn't have any bags. Those are brand new cars they got. Nice, they got a drink holder and all in them. And I'll never forget the day that one of them called me. Bobby gets one of those, he'll be in heaven. <laughs> Cold his beer and push that thing around. Going back to the late 70s, you you know gotta know return it? How to get yeah, I'll return it. I'll push and, it down there. And it's back with Terry Brown, which Terry took a lot of credit for that. Nah, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't gonna mess it up. I think they're like, they're expensive. I looked them up. Almost a thousand dollars. Let me get, you heard of this. Yeah, I'll, well, on the NTA, you know you gotta have them sign the other, I mean, I don't know why, but I'm making them sign their thing. All right, man, come here. This is your copy. For some reason, they make you sign your own copy. But here you go. Mm -hmm. You don't ever take a shopping cart off a thing. Even if they were to tell you you could do it, they really can't tell you to do that. I did not know that. I am so sorry. If they would have told you you could do it, I would have then chewed them out. But. Okay, I am so All right. sorry, but usually they, uh, when I overfill my basket, they let me take a, a cart home because they know that I walk. Okay. All right. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, no problem. I don't like to get into trouble. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you may not get in any real trouble at all. You don't have a criminal history. Just explain to the judge what happened and go from there. Okay. okay. All right. In the 90s, because of uh, dealers were required in the 90s. Matter of fact, I talked to a dealer about this yesterday. <laughs> they, they wanted him to buy 50 boats, you know, to get it. Yeah, yeah, better. It's, <laughs> he was spitting in it. <laughs> criminal statute. Oh, it is? Yeah. 506.509. Oh, a milk crater that is. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw the ex-wife drive by. Right, what are you doing? Got the shooter tires on. <laughs> I'm gonna mute it.
I don't know if they steal them, take them home, but yeah, they, it's a state statute. You can't have them off the property. So yeah, he got, she got charged. I got a lady up on Spruce Creek Road with it. I charged her for possession of it. Anyone that's off the property will charge them because the okay. the Where was she way down there? Huh? Yeah, off four thousand blocks of Spruce Creek Road. Yeah, she said she didn't have permission, but I wouldn't give anybody permission because it's a state statute to have it off the property anyway. Yeah, yeah that's what I, I didn't think so. They always like when I get them at night and you guys are closed. They're like, oh, they told me. I'm like, no, no. Thanks, sir. All right, you take care. All right, you too.